a team called I Speaks. So I Speaks, you are these pop. Hello. 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 Hey, there it is. What's hey, up? Guys. Wow. Hey guys. Well, thank you for having us. We're Team I Speaks, and we're gonna solve a murder for you guys today. And um, I don't like. Uh, just doing a sound effect, sorry. Oh, a sound effects. I love sound effects, but I don't like I'm wasting saying, time. So what I did do is I asked for a suggestion for a location and a clue of an object uh, from my friends on Facebook before the show. So my friend Andy said the location is at a psychic, and we have uh, Chris told us that the object is a Panama hat. So we're going to have to solve a murder with that. So good luck, team, and I'll see you on the other side. My name is Jeremiah Gray. I, I run the um, the psychic uh, the psychic room here. Um, my 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 ball has been a little bit um, hazy. I'm not quite sure what exactly happened to the late Mr. Black. He he was he was a, a customer of mine, and um, I. I I did see a, a bright future for him, Mr. Black was. He was um he was a banker. He told me he was going on a journey and I I told him what to look for and sadly when he when he left my small my small room here, I did hear a scream outside uh outside the tent and um I I, I don't really know much else. Um, you know, we have some confidentiality agreements with my clientele, but good good luck. And he he was actually a very good man, you know. Again, my name's Jeremiah Gray. I'm I'm the psychic. Bonjour, <clears throat> I am Agent Orange Jackson Jr. I am coming from France to uh, take a look at the local psychics and see what they have to offer because I am also a psychic, in training, that is. I take online courses, and I'm pretty good at it too. In fact, I came into a, a, a recent contact with the spirit from beyond the grave, and his, oh wait, I'm getting something here, I'm getting something. His name is Mr. Black? Does that sound right? That sounds right. I think, oh, he has a first name. It is Mr. Bennett Black. No, Preston? No, Bennett. It's Bennett. And he says he died from a very... Now it's getting fuzzy. Uh, I came to this local establishment because I want to... I heard it was one of the best in all of Orange County. And uh, I had to just see it for myself. I'm very sad to hear that somebody has unfortunately died outside the tent. It looked like, or sounded like, <laughs> uh, that uh, there was a suffocation. Oh, is that the, was it a suffocation? It was a suffocation. Well, that, that's all I know. Yes. Hello. My name is Edna Red. I'm the psychic across the street from Gray's shop. Not really a fan of her, to be fair. We usually have the same kind of clientele. And uh, you're asking about Black? Oh, yeah, he came in all the time. Uh, what an interesting looking man. Uh, he would always ask the strangest questions, mostly, mostly about murder. Mostly about his murder. Seemed like he seemed like he wanted me to really talk about it a lot. <laughs> I don't know why. He always had me dress up when I do the readings. It's an it's a side thing I do. You see, I, I I it's almost like a role play. My psychic readings, my tarot cards. I'll I'll dress where you want. He had me dress like the guy from Jurassic Park. You know, <laughs> big bro, big uh, Hawaiian shirt, little shorts of cane, and a uh, you know. <laughs> anyway, I, I'm Ed in the Red, and if you have any more questions, I'll be in my shop and I'll rub your hand for a discount, huh? <laughs> What'd you say? 
Oh, yo, Mr. Black, yeah. <laughs> I knew Mr. Black. Shit. Mr. Black, uh, yo, he was, I came to him like a couple days ago, you know? He was, uh, <clears throat> he, he smelled like cheese. Y'all remember that? Yeah, I thought it was the most disgusting thing that I ever smelled in my life. I was like, yo, what are you, Gorgonzola or something? He, he didn't respond to me much about that, you know? <laughs> but uh, what I did hear was I, I was I was trying to talk a little about my business, you know? I'm trying to get in the music game. I'm trying to do some cool stuff. <laughs> Shout out to my homes, you know what I'm saying? But <laughs> yo, he, he sat there and he was listening to me and everything like that. And I was talking to him and then he spit back and he said, I ain't going nowhere. And I was like, yo, what you talking about, Mr. B? Mr. B, you can't you can't be telling me that I ain't going nowhere, bro. Bro, that ain't that but I ain't got no problems with them. All right, yo, I'm cobalt, I'm cobalt, cold case, you know, repping, repping the east side and everything like that. You know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna be here all day, all day. You know, you can sit, you can spit anything you want at me. Once again, that's cobalt cold case. Remember. <laughs> You're muted. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, the spirits. Um, hi, um, I am um, Miss Marbles. Um, you can call me Olive. I was um, at the psychic reading at the time of the unfortunate killing of the gentleman, I believe, called Mr. Black. Um, we were inside a tent having a seance and, uh, well, perhaps we created a little bit of a disturbance because suddenly we were plunged into darkness then there was a scream, a blood-curdling scream. And Mr. Black was there, one minute, and the next minute was on the floor, with a hat on his face, screaming. And then, no more. Who did it? I don't know, it was very dark in the tent. But I will find out who did it on your behalf. I have solved quite a few mysteries in my day, uh, mainly Sudoku's. Um, I'm honest, occasionally the Times crossword. Um, but I think I can handle a murder. After all, I was there. I had uh, previously been to Edna Red. Uh, wow, her theatrical seances are really quite something scary, in fact. Um, but the grey one was a little bit better. I will get to the bottom of this. This is the case of the Panama hat in the haunted tent. Mr. Gray, is it? Yes. yes. Come out of the shadows. Oh. Ah, there you are. The very one. nice hat. Oh, well, thank you. That is a very, very nice sweater. Oh, thank you. Yes. Oh, I'm also wearing a sweater too. Don't you like it? I, I do. It is. So let's compare our sweaters like, real quick. I find it is very, it's um, it's very easy to communicate with the spirit world when when you're comfortable. It's sweaters are very comfortable. Let me guess, your sweater comes from Albania. It it does. It does. I knew it. The, the the forces are strong with Albanian threads. The, the Albanian sweaters definitely help to enhance the the psychic connection. I, I see you've been training very well. Well, I am a I am a psychic as well. I come from uh, far. Land. At first, I said I was from France, but we're, I'm definitely not from France. Oh, I'm I'm actually uh, from New Jersey. Um, you look like you're from New Jersey. Yeah. Yes. Thank you. Um, but it's it's it is odd that um, we have uh, such problems figuring out what what happened to this um, man, Mr. Black. Who this is interesting. Could, with all us, our psychic powers, I mean, you'd think we we would be able to figure this out. I mean, my my crystal ball has been very cloudy since the murder. It's almost as if there's some psychic force blocking me. Um, Did someone say psychic force? What in the hell is this? <laughs> I knew you'd be talking about psychics. Everybody talks about psychics with me. <laughs> Hello, uh, Edna Red, I don't believe we've met. I am uh, Agent Orange Jackson, Jackson, Jackson Jr. Jr. Yeah, I, I knew that, of course, because I am a psychic. <laughs> and Do you know you... this woman? Yeah, she, yeah, she runs the tent across the street. Um, she's part of the uh, psychic coalition here at the, uh, this, on the psychic corner. So um, we, we kind of give referral. I, I do the crystal balls. She does most of the card readings. 
She we makes me uncomfortable. Carol. She's in my personal bubble space. Yes, it's not personal. It is a psychic connection that we can have in a personal connection. Just let me. No, 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 no. Just push back. No, no. Oh, oh don't breathe. Your, your breath is terrible. Ah, yes. Okay, you, you smell like gorgonzolas. Jeez. <laughs> this is too much smells. May I speak to Edna Red alone? Oh, yes. Yes, Miss Oh, oh another client. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Would you like me to read your tarot today? Edna, it was really strange that I saw you hanging around the tent on your opposition. Oh, I, I of course. <laughs> that might be weird, but as a uh, beautiful businesswoman like myself, I, I, I know that I need to mingle with the uh, competition. <laughs> uh, so if it was just me trying to, uh, uh, how do you say, play dirty, you know, try to uh, really uh, get in her head so she can't, she can't take I any more clients. See, I see. I wonder if you could use your psychic powers to contact the murder victim, Bennett Black. I, I believe I feel some some sort of aura. I, I think I, yes, yes, I can do this. Uh, what kind of costume do you want me to wear to talk to him? Okay, the costume is not important. It's more- No, the costume is, is important. I, I can wear anything you like. I don't know, a cloak? A, cl a cloak, that's so stereotypical. Why don't you want to do something a, a little bit more regional? Like, okay, like, soldier. like a, a giant leather, a what? Soldier? A soul. Oh, I have not played a soul in a while. Edna, Edna, I can hear <laughs> Benny Black right now. Ah, oh, yes, and I hear the trumpet sounds around Benny Black. Oh, my fallen brothers. Oh, help me call my friend, Mr. Black. Yo, I, I was just, uh, I was just outside, you know, you know, I was uh, listening what, what was going on and everything. And I thought what you just said was killer, bro. That was fire. That was fire. Can you drop that again? Oh, yes. My fallen brothers, please help me call up to find the soul of Mr. Black. <laughs> Mr. Black. That, bro. That's going to be sick, no. right? Mr. Black, I mean, he, he's going to throw a and everything, all right? So uh, what you, hey, I see you. I see you over there. You know, like I, I'll talk to both of you. It's cool. I can, I can spot this. Yo, yo. So you want to hear Mr. Black. He wants to drop the beat. In the middle, here I am coming to remix it all. You know what I'm saying? So like, well, what are we gonna do here? We're gonna we're gonna drop this. We're gonna make this fire. We're gonna friggin' you know get funky up in the bunky. May I interrupt you a second, uh, Mister? Mister Cobalt, Cobalt, Cold, please don't forget. I'm here all day. Speaking in a language I don't understand. Is that how you talk to the dead? Yeah, it's how I commune with the dead. Yo, I always pay respects. I pour drinks to him. I come back. I say, hey, yo. <laughs> What, what, you, got? what you, got? you know, they, they come back at me and they throw their they throw their ideas right in my head. You know, sometimes I feel like and I'm... How did you know the victim? Oh, he's a victim now, is he? I think I was a victim, you know? I went Wait, in this place and guys like, Mr. Gorgon is over. How are you going to call He is because he's dead. I'm sorry to interrupt. You're just going to come in in the middle of my psychic. I mean, I was really in the middle of doing stuff, and you're just going to do that? Fine. Talk to no, Cobalt. No, 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 Clearly, no, no, a psychic no, no, you no, want no, to hear no, from. What? Yo, he's going to just leave like that. How are you going to do that? That's disrespectful. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> hey, who are you? Mind me, I'm just getting rid of that Gorgon's own smell. Ah, uh, thank you, bro. I appreciate that, bro. It gets in my nostrils, and I ain't like that. You know, it's it. It can grow cheese. I, I hear if you smell cheese, sometimes it grows. I'm walking out the door. Um, Mr. Coldcase, yeah? you're the only person who makes any sense here. Why would you think that no one can contact the dead all of a sudden, considering everyone's a psychic? It feels almost as if psychics aren't real. Yo, I just realized, yo, I, I, got, a, I got a meeting to go at, you know? Like, uh, <laughs> yo, I was supposed to meet Isabel at like two. I <laughs> Deuces. Deuces. Oh, oh man, deuces. Back in Edna. I don't know. Mom, I think I Edna. think I really hit Edna. it off with her. Oh, give no, me a Edna. moment. Yeah, hi. Um Hello. I, I, I know there are some clients and such. I was just wondering, you know, Mr. Black, I, he had been running up a tab on my psychic um uh, services and I I I just was wondering if he had a tab with you too, because 
I'm just trying to figure out if we can clear things. Did you have like a credit card on file for him or? Are you asking me to steal the money from a client of mine and break the strong bond between a psychic and a customer? What am I, a scam artist? Well, we, we are psychics after all, I mean. I've got his credit card information in my pocket right now. Uh, but, 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 I knew you were coming and that's why it was already in my pocket. Uh, no other reason besides that, of course. I need you to do something for me first, if you really want to try to get this tab paid. Sure. Here's that, that um, the tattooed boy, the boy from Tattooine, tat, Tatooine, whatever his name is. Yeah, yeah. Cobalt. Cold, 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 cold. He's an issue, is my thing. And he's just, I feel, isn't good for the camp. And I think if maybe you could in the spirit of things going on right now, get rid of him for me. I could get you that credit card. Well, he's also one of my clients, so I'm not really gonna get rid of him. I mean, he's been... Fuck at your clients. I'll give you a dead man's credit card. That's all a psychic ever wants. Dead people's information? How is that not gold to you? Well, I mean, you know, I... I, I really can't do that. I'm sorry, and I mean, this is. I'm trying to run an honest business. I just need to settle things up, and um, this. It's really. It's a little uncomfortable. I mean, you're asking what? me to kind of go beyond the boundaries of uh, the psychic. Tag, tag out, Edna. How come I can't find a, a psychic round here telling me anything about this murder? All of our, um, all of our psychic powers have been muted somehow I, I don't know i mean usually my wait i'm seeing something wait. oh i see it's very fit it's very big traveler oh that's that's a replay from yesterday one second i'm seeing oh i'm i'm seeing a can you get Netflix on there? I'd quite like to watch it, some TV maybe later. <laughs> Where am I at? Oh, gente. Hello. Gente. Miss Marbles. Nice Hi. to meet you, Agent Orange. Has you, have your psychic powers been affected too? I come from a distant land that is not France nor Albania. My powers are still intact. Because my powers told me something. That there was something underneath the ground of where the body was. So I dug. Guess what I found? I don't think you should be touching the body before the police. <laughs> I, had, I was very good at it. I, was very, I barely touched him. Go I ahead. Did. What did you find? Found. The Necronomicon. <gasps> what? That? Something very specific. First of all, it is a Quiznos receipt. What is Quiznos? And secondly, he highlighted a very specific incantation. Sh do I, you want me to read it? What do, 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 don't read from that book. Read it out, you fool. Okay. Because, because if you read it out, we might all die. That's very true. Give us a rough idea. Basically, he wanted to... Uh, how do Americans say it? Oh, I guess they just want to. He wanted to find the big short. Yeah. You... He wanted to find a way to cheat the curves of life itself. And I believe this incantation was basically. I don't know where you're from, but you're making no sense whatsoever. Well, he. Can, 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 a gente, I mean, in our last meeting with, with Mr. Black. He was heading on a journey. He said he was looking for something. And I, I did see in his future a grand discovery. He was a little bit vague, and, and, and so was I, as I often. So uh, he, he was looking forward to that. Um, uh, maybe he was... He was that trying. makes sense. It all lines up. The spirits yeah. seem to be affecting your internet connection also. I'm going to gather everyone together. Oh, okay. Edna, ah. the boy. Oh, why is this one here? Ah, oh, personal space. Hello. Oh, hello, hello you hello. smell so bad. I have spent most of the morning wandering around chasing spirits. I'm led to believe that this Mr. Bennett Black, who was murdered by a Panama hat, 
through suffocation in the dead of the dark tent. That he was trying to cheat death in some way and perhaps is playing a trick on us somewhere in this building right now. Or maybe that's what you want me to believe, Agent Orange Jackson Jr. Perhaps you murdered him. Why would you think that? I come from another land. That's no reason to not murder somebody. That's you true. had so much jealousy over Mr. Bennett Black, who was also a psychic. You believed that he had great power, so you tried to get rid of him. Or did you? No, Agent Orange Jackson, you were not the killer. Oh, oof. Though don't go touching remains without the police arriving. I barely touched him. I barely touched him. Edna Red, you are the most awful psychic in the world. Oh, I pulled you. back the curtains in your tent and discovered just a load of sound equipment. You can't summon the dead as much as I can't summon the dead. You're a complete fraud, Edna. And you were in the tent that night, crawling about, spying on Jeremiah Gray. But you were not the killer. You were not, because I saw you with my own eyes sat really near me, making a horrible noise. <coughs> so that that oh, well, that is gross. Mr. Coldcase, I don't understand a word you're saying most of the time, young man, but you have no real motive to kill Mr. Black. So, I don't I think, think you I killed him. I with that. That it? I know you're pretending to be old gangster, but really, you're just a little boy who's drawn his own tattoos on himself. <laughs> you right. So that leads us with the final person who may have done this, Jeremiah Gray. Psychic, I don't think. A complete fraud, just like the rest of them. No. But Mr. Black owed you money, a, si a substantial amount. So difficult that I can't even say substantial, that's how big the amount was. It was such a huge amount. It was. And you killed him. When the lights went out, you leapt. And that's why you're wearing such a weird hat. You were wearing the Panama hat at the time. I knew it. Out in the dark and threw your Panama hat on him. And then quickly grabbed the hat of an old lady instead. <laughs> I would fall for that. What do you have to say for yourself? You're right. You know, he owed me $4,763. For all those, all those tips and tricks I gave him to how to find his secret, whatever he was looking for, Fountain of Youth, I don't know. He was, he was going on a wild goose chase. And that stupid cold case guy, he was supposed to take care of him for me. I asked him to do the dirty deed. He couldn't even do it. I had to do it myself. So yes, yes I murdered him. I'm taking away all of your psychic licenses from now on. Yes, ladies and gentlemen. Case closed. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. We've been I Speaks. <laughs> Michael, tell them where we can be found. Ooh. That week, everybody. You can find us all. You can uh, you can watch us on YouTube. Um, you can watch us on uh, Facebook, Open Spot Live. You can come to our YouTube channel, Open Spot Live. Find lots of our old shows, recorded shows, live stream shows. Everybody's there, and uh, we hope to see you soon. Thank you. You guys did a great job. Thank you so much. Have an amazing night and a jam at the end if you guys are still around. But thank you. Did a great job. And our next team is another team, improv team called Gnome Improv Mick. Gnome Improv Mick, please come on up. Perfect. Yes. All right.